topic that we are going to discuss is about the graphs. There are two graphs that we are going to discuss in this lesson. First is the distance time graph. Now in the distance time graph, things you have to remember. In a distance time graph, the distance is always plotted on the y axis. And the time is always plotted on the x axis. Now see, it is there in your textbook graphical representation of the motion distance time graph the change in the position of an object with time can be represented on a distance time graph now it is a relation between a distance time and the change in the position can be represented using a distance time graph here time is always taken on the x axis and distance is always taken on the y axis now look at this straight line in the graph indicate that it's cover equal distance in equal interval of time it moves with the uniform speed it also indicate that the distance traveled by an object is directly proportional to the time taken means in a uniform motion as the distance increases the speed increases so straight line in a distance time graph straight line indicate that the motion of an object is in uniform motion see here this straight line if the graph is like this in a distance time graph it indicate a uniform motion now look at another graph here is a distance which is plotted on the y axis time plotted on the x axis and it is showing a line parallel to the x axis means what time is increasing but distance is not increasing it means the object is at rest now if a park if a car is parked at the parking lot it may be parked for 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour here the time is changing but there is no distance it means the object is at rest and if you can see this curved graph it means it is a non uniform motion it is covering unequal distance in a unequal interval of time so these are the type of graph that can be observed in a distance time graph if it is a straight line it means the object is in uniform motion if it is parallel to the x axis it means the object is at rest and if it is curved it means in a it is in a non uniform motion now next is a one more thing this is increasing speed acceleration and this is decreasing speed acceleration means both are in a non uniform motion but here the speed is increasing so that is increased acceleration and here the speed is decreased and yani decrease acceleration means deceleration okay we have seen uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration so these are both non uniform acceleration but it is acceleration and it is deceleration now the next graph is velocity time graph previous was a distance time graph and this is velocity time graph here time is taken on the x axis and velocity is shown on the y axis it is also known as a speed time graph we will see the velocity time graph for the uniform speed for the uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration and non uniform retardation so this is velocity time graph the variation in velocity with time for an object moving in a straight line can be represented by a velocity time graph so in this velocity time graph time will be represented on the x axis and the velocity will be represented on the y axis so it shows a relation between the velocity with respect to time now the velocity is represented along the y axis if the object move at uniform velocity uniform velocity means the speed is not changing time is changing speed is not changing the height of it velocity time graph will not change with time it will be a straight line 
parallel to the x axis as you can see here this graph indicate the velocity is 40 km per hour the object is moving but it is moving with a uniform velocity see the time is increasing 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hour but the velocity is not changing such type of graph are indicated by a straight line parallel to the x axis so this is a velocity time graph Now the product of velocity and time gives the displacement. Product means multiplication. When you multiply velocity with time, it gives a displacement of the object moving with the uniform velocity. Now see in the different graph. This is a velocity time graph for the uniform motion. Means the velocity is not changing but time is changing so such type of graph will show a straight line parallel to the x axis now this is a velocity time graph for uniform acceleration uniform acceleration means here the velocity is changing at equal interval of time see velocity keeps on changing velocity also increases time also increases so here it will show this straight line it means it is a uniform acceleration this is a time speed or a velocity time graph of a non uniform acceleration means here also the velocity is changing but it is not changing at a uniform rate see from the graph you can see here initially with time the velocity was different now here with respect to time the velocity has just increased so this is a non uniform acceleration this is also a non uniform acceleration but it is decreasing acceleration means retardation retardation means it is a decreasing acceleration so these are the velocity time graph by looking at the graph we can conclude the motion of an object whether it is in uniform motion or a uniform acceleration or a non uniform acceleration